Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. As everyone starts to gear up for Farm Simulator 25, I thought I'd make a video that talks about how much it will cost for you to buy a PC in order for you to play Farm Sim 25. What I'll say right off the bat is the idea of this video is to come up with the absolute cheapest builds for a PC that you can use to play this game. I would always recommend that if you can afford it that you upgrade the PC as much as you can. So when we look at the system requirements for Windows, I am I am going to make a build for the minimum. They say that this is enough for you to for you to play the game at 720p at 30 FPS. Then I'm gonna make another system for the recommended they say that that's enough for you for you to play the game at 1080p at 60 fps of course if you want to play in higher resolutions then you will have to upgrade even further so let's have a look at the build for the minimum spec for farm sim 25 here we go so i have made a system here which is coming out at 458 US. Although, bear in mind that this includes Windows 11 at 120 US. So if you already own Windows or if you have a creative way for you to get a key, this is a lot cheaper. And again, this is the absolute minimum that you should build for this particular game and I would always recommend if you can afford to upgrade from here then I would I think on this this build the first things I would upgrade the solid state drive is up is a hundred and twenty eight gigabytes this is literally only only gonna be enough for you to install Windows 11 the game and some mods as well after that there isn't going to be a lot of room that is left so if you can afford it I would recommend that you upgrade this further and the memory is the absolute cheapest that I could find so if you can afford to upgrade this I would highly recommend it okay so let's have a look at the the PC build for the recommended specification so again, this they say is enough for you to play the game at 1080p at 60 FPS. And again, it includes Windows 11. And again, I would highly recommend if you can afford to upgrade the solid state drive, I would do so. And if you can afford to upgrade the memory, I would also do that as well. Because again, this is the absolute cheapest that I could find um, it does say at the top here that there's a warning that is only because you will have to upgrade the BIOS of the motherboard for it to work with this CPU it's the same on both of the builds so yeah these are the builds that I will use again this one is for 600 a 90 US that is for the recommended and for the minimum 458 I will leave a link in the description so you can have a look at that in more detail if you have any ideas for hardware that you would use instead of the hardware that I have used I would love to hear it in the comments section below thank you for watching